a new day, the same project. This is part four of this uh, saga about KYZ 30A, supposedly a lithium-ion, lithium-iron, phosphate charger and lead acid charger too, because it's snowing and there is no chance of sunshine in the next week. So uh, today I'm gonna have a different approach and I put these things together. What we got here? Power supply, 12 volt, 5 amps, that's more than enough. And I have a step up converter. This one goes to the charger and then through the watt meter to the batteries. What I want to, what I want to test today is if the charger stops the charging at a certain voltage, let's say 12.6, this charger gets fixed, have a new heat sink, even a fan, that's a temperature controlled fan. And let's start the experiment. I have my other camera running now. First of all, I'm gonna try to, to charge one of these little batteries. It's 1.3 amps, so uh, it should run really fast. Power on, we have power over there too. We are on Liqiu one. The display is saying the battery is only 11 volts, and that's true. 1098, my voltmeter is saying. And now it's time to connect the solar panel. First of all, I need to check the voltage over here. So let's fix it on, uh, okay, so we have 19 volts over there. And now let's plug the battery. I can hear a strange sound. Okay, so now we have a charging of 4.4 amps. And let me see the output over here, 12.18. What I can say for now is that there is no power limit. So, okay, I can understand that it's supposedly to have a 30 amps. That's okay. Now all we have to do is to wait for this uh, battery to get charged at 12.6. Can we get some more amps? Yes, we can. Now we have five amps. You'll say maybe it's too much for this battery. We'll see. So all I can say for now this 1195 volts or 12 volts over here, they are not controlled by the solar charge controller. That's the battery voltage. So the battery is keeping the voltage down for now because it's not charged. But let's wait a little bit more. Do we have any temperature over here? Not at all. 28 degrees, 35 over here. This is a little bit warm. What about this guy? 23, 23, nothing. So that's the way it should work. That's good. For now it's good. 3.7, shall we go further? 5 amps, let me see the voltage. 12.91. So this is nice to know. This uh, boost converter, it's really capable of 5 amps. Oh, they advertise like 150 watts hour or something anyway. But at least I know that it can deliver 5 amps and yeah, it's a little bit warm, but it's not a tragedy. 39 degrees for now. So now I put the timestamp on, then we can have a clear idea about the time passing through the charging. What's this sign over here? saying like it's something wrong with the battery. Okay, let me disconnect the panel. So it's saying that it's something wrong with the battery. Oh, we are on liquid too, okay. Let's go back to liquid one. Okay, now let's see. Liquid two is supposed to be the menu for lithium iron phosphate uh, batteries. Okay, yeah, so now we have a proper display and hopefully a proper charge. 0 0.1 amps, let's go up. Look here, we have a sweet spot. If I want to go up with the voltage, in fact, it's going down. 
Now we move clockwise and we have 12.13.6 and suddenly drop to 12. Here we go, 12.8 and we have the maximum charging. So that's the story with this kind of pulse with modulation. They are getting the panel voltage down almost to the battery level. And that's why those MOSFETs get burned because the charger gave a command to the MOSFET, you know, to short somehow the panel. So it was a lot of power dissipated by the MOSFETs, a lot of amps through the MOSFET. And of course, a bad heat sink and you are in business. Let me check this again. We have 2.6 we have 2.6 over there on the display let me see the output from the uh, boost converter 1285 let's push it some more somehow it's okay the current went down but let's rise the panel I may say 13 volts 15 16 okay let's say almost almost uh, 17 volts 17 sometime we have 12.6 over here the charging should stop at this power level the battery it's warm 40 degrees the charger don't even feel it now it stops at 10.6 we have 17 volts on the input the current it's relaxed now and we have 12.6 well, this is interesting. What about going higher with the panel? Let's say, let's call it panel. Let's go to, no. If we go farther than 17 volts, the amps are growing and that's supposed, the volt, that's supposed to be the voltage, the voltage of the panel going up and down. So we have 18.2. 18 volts well what can I say somehow with this power and one element only for now I can say that it's working so it stops 12.6 volts now the current went down the panel voltage it's pretty high it's normal 18 volts and we got uh, good results. I didn't expect that. Okay, let's put some more. Can we put some more? No. If I'm going higher than 18 volts, you can hear very clear the bus converter getting shorted. Look at the LED. But the current doesn't go higher. So somehow it's just in the limits so we have almost 19 volts to the input the current is pretty steady the battery it's warm not hot 42 degrees the controller it's absolutely okay let's wait a little bit more
So, all I can say for now that it's working. The charge was stopping at 12.6, and now we have a very, very low uh, current over here. It's almost zero, and we have 19.6. That's supposed to be the panel, let's say, here. And uh, there's nothing to complain. It's working. But this is for small amount, you know, a small battery. And of course, a small current, we only reached maybe 4 amps or something. The panel is off, let's take the battery out, and let's plug another battery to charge. 11.5, and let's power on this one. Oh, it's looking like charging, but the panel is working really, so the panel is really really overdrive 11.6 volts well in my situation I can't deliver more power so you can't compare this with a real time situation you know with really panels in full sunshine you know those panels of mine 300 watts or something they can deliver easily 16 amps so uh, what can I say you can't compare but if we if we go down a little bit with the... Uh, there we go, 12 volts and 2.3 amps and that's the point so we have 12.6 volts to the input okay let's see what's happening and just let it run so we have 4.2 amps for charging and let it run. What can I say? We have 18 volts to the input of the charger. The charging is stopping at 12.6. It's working. But it's working for this kind of small jobs, you know, 4 amps, and this one is not even warm. How many degrees? 26. So, uh, what can I say? If we keep it in a certain limits, like 4 amps, 3, 4 amps or something, then uh, it's looking like it's doing the job. Okay, got it. So it doesn't really matter how much I'm adjusting the, the voltage here. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah. So now we have 15 volts. We have 17, 18, 19, 21. If I'm passing 20 volts, that's a start. You see, it's, it's having peaks. Let's see what's happening. Let me put it as high as possible. I'm not sure how much it is because it's always shorting. You see, this this thing doesn't happen if you have a really panel, like I said before, with strong amps. What can I say? In this kind of, let's call it lab environment, the charger is working. But I'm not convinced, so I still have to wait for a full sunshiny day, so so I'm pretty sure it will be part 5 of this test that's gonna be like burning batteries and blew up everything, you know, but 
hopefully this new heat sink and the fan over here will do the job i may say it's not even warm so it's 26 degrees don't even feel it what i can say now it's shorting the panel but the current it's still down so that's a good point it's doing the job now we went back to 19 volts and we have a little bit of charging over here well i just let it run like that let's see what's happening got like uh, 20 volts on the panels let's say so you see there the charging is almost over maybe this one had a little uh, bit of charge before so now the machine is considering it, uh, you know the charger is considered it charged it keeps the voltage very well and you can hear it's it's shorting the it's shorting the panel so that's the way it should be like i said before in this situation with this currents not more than four amps or something the charger it's working it's working very well i may say but i have to wait for the final test full sunshine well thank you for now hopefully this is helpful don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to have fun this is the most important thing. Be safe and see you soon with some other projects. Bye bye.